we've all either been guilty of doing this or had to deal with it in one of our projects. Vertical video shot on a smartphone that has to be played back on a 16x9 screen. When played back natively, it can look awful, with black bars bigger than the video itself on either side of the screen. Let's take a look and see what we can do in Final Cut Pro to correct this. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you find any of my videos helpful, make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button below. So, let's not waste any more time and jump into our timeline. The simplest thing you can do to eliminate black bars in your video is add a generator layer below it. Let's select our clip and press Option, Command and Up Arrow to lift it from the storyline. Our clip is lifted to a connected storyline and is replaced by a gap clip. Now, in the browser, select Titles and Generators and for my example, I'll scroll down to Backgrounds and select the Clouds background. Let's drag and drop it over a gap clip and select the Replace and Retime to Fit option. You can also adjust the available parameters in the inspector to best suit your clip. Using a generator for a background isn't ideal, but it's better than having black bars. Another way we can deal with vertical video is what I call a news station fix. News stations often get user submitted videos that are often shot vertically on a smartphone, and here's what they do to fix it. Let's see if we can replicate it. Let's select our clip, hold down the Option key, and drag the clip up to duplicate it. Do this twice so you have three copies of the same clip stocked on top of each other. Now let's select our top clip and press V to disable it. Select the clip under it and over in the inspector from the Transform menu, scale the clip up to 300%. Now over in the viewer, hit the Transform button and click and drag the clip over to the left side of your screen until the center of your clip is at the left edge. We'll do the same to the clip below this one and drag it over to the right side of the screen. Now let's open the effects browser, select the blur category, and apply the Gaussian blur to the bottom two clips. Let's re-enable our top clip and see how that looks. The last method we can use to fix vertical video is using a plugin. The guys over at Ripple Train offer a great vertical video plugin for free. This lets you replicate all the methods mentioned in this video and then some. They also have a great video explaining how to use all the features. I'll include the download link for the plugin and Ripple Training's video link in the description. Go check it out. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and share this with someone else who might like it. New Final Cut Pro videos release weekly, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.